The AT Gold includes three detection modes. A true all-metal mode for the deepest detection depth and sensitivity, and two discrimination modes to help eliminate unwanted trash items from detection. Simply press the mode button to scroll through the three modes. Let's start by exploring the all-metal mode. This is designed to detect all types of metal. Notice that all 12 lower scale discrimination pixels are switched on and that the iron discrimination is disabled. All targets encountered in the all metal mode will normally be heard as a proportional medium tone. The all metal mode provides complete target information, including a target ID pixel on the upper scale, digital target ID, and depth reading. With the AT Gold, there is no need to switch to a discrimination mode in order to obtain target ID. The all metal mode is preferred for prospecting and deep searches because it provides the greatest possible depth and sensitivity to all conductive and magnetic properties it encounters. It is essential that the detector be properly ground balanced while in the all metal mode to cancel out the signals of naturally occurring minerals in the ground. The AT Gold also includes two discrimination modes to help eliminate trash metal items such as foil, pull tabs, and nails from detection. Discrimination filters are introduced in these two modes, which can make them less sensitive to small and deep targets than the all metal mode. The two discriminate modes, disc one and disc two, provide more tone ID information than the all metal mode allows. All targets are reported with either a medium or high tone ID in the discrimination modes. You can also choose to hear discriminated iron targets with a low tone ID when iron discrimination has been set and the iron audio feature is in use. These tone IDs will be demonstrated in a minute. In disc one mode, the AT Gold has the same pattern as the all metal mode, although some ground response has been filtered out. All 12 discrimination pixels are switched on and the high-res iron discrimination is set to zero. This mode is designed to detect all types of metal, including international coins, jewelry, relics, and caches. Use the iron discrimination push buttons to customize your iron discrim pattern. Disc 2 mode is a US coins discrimination pattern. The iron discrim level has been preset to 35 to exclude most iron targets. In addition, one pixel of foil and two pixels in the pull tab range have been excluded. No other notches can be accepted or rejected in either of the discrimination modes, but the iron discrimination levels can be adjusted. These iron discrim changes are saved even after the detector has been switched off. The AT Gold features a high resolution iron discrimination adjustment. While operating in either of the discrimination modes, the level can be adjusted from zero, no iron discrimination, to 40, maximum iron discrimination. Use the plus or minus iron disc buttons to adjust the iron discrimination up or down. The small two digit number above the words iron disc on the LCD indicates the current setting. Let's demonstrate the use of iron discrimination with this nail. It reads as high as 22. I run the iron discrimination up to 23. And now you can see that the nail is no longer audibly reported. The AT Gold includes high resolution iron discrimination this is very important to overcome what's called target masking or iron masking. This can occur in a lot of different scenarios, in including in the gold fields, where you might have a lot of iron presence mm -hmm. that can mask small pieces of gold. Mm -hmm. uh, to demonstrate this, I've got this detector right now set in Discrim 1, and I've got an iron uh, resolution setting of 20 on there. So my Discrim's at 20, and just to show you, I, I can pick up this gold nugget. I've got a rusty iron nail. 
And with discrimination of 20, that's not enough to get rid of this. Now what's important to notice is that you can put too much iron discrimination in and lose a target. And that's why the resolution is good to have. So I'm gonna lean over here. I'm gonna run this all the way up as high as it'll go, which is 40 on the iron discrimination. I'm gonna put the piece of gold behind the nail, which is gonna simulate it being under a piece of iron. And as I'm going across the coil, there's no audible response. There's still gonna be a number indicated on here, but effectively we've masked out that target because there's too much iron discrimination being employed. So I'm gonna back it down. Obviously I've got too much for this. It's gotta be between 20 and 40. Let me test the nail again by itself. Still getting it just a little bit. Take it up another click or two. Pretty much lost that iron target. Now, put my goal back underneath this piece of iron. I can pick this up now. The iron has not masked out the target because I've employed too much iron discrimination. I've put in just enough to lose the bad target and yet still keep anything that's slightly more conductive than that bad target. So in this scenario, I'm picking up gold lying underneath iron or beside iron or amongst iron. That's the value of having 40 points of resolution in your iron discrimination. The AT Gold also includes an iron audio feature that allows you to hear the discriminated iron targets which would normally be silent. Simply press and release the Iron Audio button to switch this feature on or off. When it is on, the words Iron Audio appear on the LCD. In either of the two discrimination modes, the Iron Audio function produces a low tone ID to identify the discriminated iron to help you avoid digging an undesired target. The Iron Audio feature is even more impressive at identifying bottle caps. Since they are flat and have pretty good conductivity, they can trick some detectors into thinking they're a coin or some other good target. To demonstrate, I'll use the AT Gold in Disc 1 mode with Iron Disc set to 35 and Iron Audio off. Pass the search coil over the bottle cap. Note the subtle breaks and inconsistencies of target response, indicating it might be iron. Now switch on Iron Audio and pass the coil over the bottle cap again. The distinctive low, medium, low response indicates that this target is unmistakably iron. The AT Gold's Iron Audio feature also functions while the detector is operating in a true all metal mode, a feature exclusive to Garrett. To demonstrate, I'll scan this iron nail. Now I push the Iron Audio button and set my Iron Disc to 35. It is important to remember that Iron Audio must be switched on in order to set Iron Discrimination in the all-metal mode. With your Discrim set, switch Iron Audio back off and pass the nail over the coil. Listen to the clean, medium tone response, which sounds like a good target. Now switch Iron Audio on and listen to this nail again. It has a distinctive low, medium, low response that is unmistakably a discriminated iron target. The Iron Audio feature is recommended for use in the all metal mode to check targets for iron content. Iron Discrim settings made in the all metal mode are temporary. They will not be retained after the detector is turned off. I'm going to demonstrate Iron Audio first in the all metal mode and then in the discriminate modes. It has a very different uh, functionality there. First in the all metal mode, all targets are going to have a proportional medium tone. This iron nail put down on the ground has a strong medium sound to it. Now there is no iron discrimination set in all metal. But with the Garrett AT Gold, I can push my iron audio button and the settings are 0, zero on iron discrimination. I'm going to run those up to about 25, let's say, and then go back over this target again with my iron audio on in all metal mode. 
iron audio on, all metal mode, no iron audio. Medium tone, iron, iron audio in all metal. Clearly iron. Now if I go to discriminate mode, I've got my iron disc set on 25, and I'll go back over this without iron audio. It's discriminated out because my discrimination's high enough. But I can push iron audio and check that target. Clearly an iron target underneath my coil. The AT Gold's advanced audio characteristics provide fast recovery speed to help separate adjacent targets. The proportional audio response also allows you to better judge a target's size, shape, and depth. With the AT Gold in the all metal mode, all targets are gonna have a medium sound, a medium tone, but based upon their size, you're gonna hear different proportions. So to demonstrate, I'm gonna go over a small gold nugget, a larger iron nail, and then a big silver target. First, the nugget. Small response, medium tone. Then the iron nail. Stronger response, medium tone. Silver coin. Big response, medium tone. Now if I go back over these and check these targets again with iron audio, you will hear a low tone for any item that's been discriminated out. Where you set the break point when I push iron audio, in this case I've run it up to 25. Anything 25 and below is going to sound like a low tone. That's what you've set. So again, I'll go over the gold nugget with iron audio and all metal. Still a proportional medium tone. Our nail, it's below the 25 you've set, so it's gonna sound low tone or junk. Silver coin, still a strong, clean, medium tone. In either of the AT Gold's two discriminate modes, you've also got the medium tone, but you also have a high tone for higher conductivity targets. The low tone only comes into play when you've set iron discrimination and you're using the iron audio. So using these same three targets, I'll demonstrate that again. I'm in discrim one and I've got an iron discrimination setting of 25. So I'll go over the gold nugget, the iron nail, and the silver coin. Proportional medium tone on the gold nugget. Kind of a chirpy clicking or no sound at all on the iron target. and a strong sound on the coin. Now if I come back in and discrim and I put in my iron audio and go over these again, gold nugget. Still a small proportional medium sound. Iron nail. Strong low tone sound of iron. And the silver coin. Still a strong high response on that one.